Hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekai, Quidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Hey, so uh, I thought about different ways to come, you know, come with this epistle. Uh, and we're just going to jump into it, man, to the to the best of my abilities, bringing it out, you know, with the spirit that the Lord's given me. You know, just like the big brothers and the elders. And I got, so I got two clips from the big brother. I got a clip from the big brother, Elder Manata Zatba, uh from South Carolina. And also got a clip from uh, the elder from uh, GMS Vegas sit downs. We're going to, we're going to bring those out. But before we do that, I want, you know, y'all look over here, right over here to the, if you see over here on the left side of the screen over here, you're going to see a little picture. We're going to bring that picture up. Let me see if I can click it. Okay. Now I went uh, before this epistle, you know, I was thinking about, you know, uh, maybe pictures of x-rays or, or, or something like that. But as you can see, these are, this is a clip. This is a little picture from that movie Knowing. And uh, it's like the best picture I've ever seen about, you know, staying in the spirit, walking in the spirit, um, you know, being in the spirit. And I, I use it, you know, quite often. And I was thinking about that as I, you know, trying to get this epistle together. By the way, this, the title of this epistle, as you may know, is called They Plan Their Role Really Well. You know, let us play ours, you know, well as well, you know, put on as the elect, right? Because they're doing it for a corruptible crown, but we're doing it for an incorruptible crown, right? Going right back to this picture, pretty much, kind of, like, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, coming, they're, they're looking at things through a carnal lens because they, they have not been reborn, bro. And we were saying, D, we're talking about these false prophets with all these damn false doctrines and stuff out here, okay? Uh, so, I just wanted to bring that out because that's where, you know, as we grow grow closer to you, how about Shemashah, Shah, we're, we're like coming constantly uh being jarred to walk in the spirit to believe the spirit to trust in you how about shema shai you know and all these spiritual things you know and not not to think about this corner world you know in that way anymore because this world comes to not um and we can get that in the scripture real quick let's go to get some scriptures then we're going to get that, that video real quick uh going to hebrews let's go to hebrews chapter 11 just speaking about some spiritual things real quick. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shem Hashem must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right? See, and these things that we don't see. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So we're, we're you know, thinking about. All the things that the Lord has promised us in these last days, you know, the, the down, to see the downfall of our enemies, this time of Jacob's trouble, the uh, implementation of the MARK, World War III, and ultimately, you know, those nuclear warheads being shot over here in Babylon the Great to destroy this place and ultimately, you know, the end of this kingdom. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So we're going to go get these, these video clips real quick. I got them lined up right here. Um, uh, let's see. Let's get let's get this Vegas sit down one real quick, uh, and uh, let's see the brother. So in this clip, you know we know this this is the group one body in Yahweh Shah, these false prophets right here, and they've been waxing worse and worse. This title is uh, and I'll put these in the description box, Lord willing, if I remember correctly, but I should be able to do it. This one is entitled "But Evil Man and Imp Imposters Will Wax Worse and Worse, Deceiving and Being Deceived." Right. Um, you know, these are the these are guys, same guys that came out to say Yahweh Shah didn't perform no miracles. These are the ones that are walking around like Jehovah's Hovah witness, knocking on people's doors. Uh, and they're coming up. They, they're constantly taking the scriptures and twist them around man, to, 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 like they're saying something else, just like the Christian church do, just like any other false prophet would do, bro. And that's the that's just the end of it. So because Yahweh Shema Shah has blessed us with this gift of faith. He's given us pastors according to his own heart, starting with the elder apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on that umbrella, you know. And he's, he's just like he said, you know, the Holy Spirit is going to come. He's going to teach you all things. You're going to understand. You're going to have the spirit of discernment to know what's the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 
So if you can't believe these words of truth, if you want to listen to these, I'm sure these guys have a lot of followers or a lot of people watching their their their, uh, their epistles. Or if you want to call them that, their damn lies, should I say, false doctrines, should I say. You know, but hey, if the blind lead the blind, they both going to fall in a ditch. So we're not focusing on these guys so much. We're just going to play the little video and bring it out, okay? Now, once again, this is the, the title of this epistle is called, They Plan Their Role really well now you got to understand through spiritual lenses that this is the role that they the lord has given them you know let us play our ours as well as well you know because we you know we're, we're we would believe we believe to the saving of the soul bro let's play it man i'm talking too much ain't i now i can't hear this now listen to this mock parody israelite group or right, this government agent sent group they say the customs of the peoples are vain. What customs? What customs are vain? What customs that people follow? Right now, you see the custom of a lot of Israelites, what they're following, the one where they, they highly, and it's not one where, see, that's a street name, man. They gave a street name a camp name. <laughs> it was uh, some IUPK or something. And what happened in this school? It was nothing but wickedness amongst those brothers. Nobody wanted to speak about it. And who came out of that school? The same brothers that's in these camps right now. I-U-I-C, G-O-C-C, Zabak, all of them. GMS, they come from right up under that wicked ass car, that, 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 that doctrine that, that's killing our peoples today, man. Right. Nobody's holding these guys accountable because they're the ones keeping us divided. That's right. Um. Okay, so uh, you know, I'm just gonna go back from memory of what he said. He said something like um, he used this scripture right here in the book of Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse two, which once again I'm very highly offended at these uh, false doctrines. I'm very highly offended, brothers and sisters, of these false prophets. You know, because number one, they're playing with people's lives. Okay. This shit pissed me off when I when I learned the truth. When Yahweh Hashem all praise to Yahweh Hashem brought me over to the, you know, starting with the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on that umbrella, you know, that taught me the hundred percent truth of the scriptures through the Holy Spirit, you know, um, and I look back at, at the IUICs and all the all the other groups that I was watching, you know, and you know that's why the that's why the brothers always say watch Great Millstone only, watch Great Millstone only. So lucky man, I should have uh, brought the camera back over here. You know, that's why the brothers always say, watch Great Millstone only, watch Great Millstone only, because they, you know, when I when I heard, you know, that they had been misleading me, they had me uh, listening to these false doctrines, things that could, you know, uh, hinder, you know, hurt you in, in this walk, you know, because the scripture tells us to walk, why, be wise as serpent, but harmless as doves, you know, they, but they're teaching you to walk where your fringe is all over the place, trying to be over-righteous, uh, trying to love your enemy, love everybody, love, 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 you know, uh, it's just it's a big mess man because it's a, it's a false doctrine all around there's only one lord one faith one baptism one baptism one way to be washed and clean with this word of truth and that's through the through the elders apostle great millstone and all the brothers on that umbrella with the same doctrine bro that 100 percent truth okay uh so anyway he was speaking about this one of the strip one of the one of these key scriptures when i first came into the truth i was I was delighted and thankful to hear because just like that MLK scripture, you know, tell the prophets that say, I have dream, I have dream. You know, I, that's not, I didn't send, I didn't send those prophets, roughly paraphrasing, something like that. That that scripture right there, you know, I was like, wow, Martin Luther King is in the scriptures. You know, this lets you know that this is a li the living word, right? Just like this scripture right here speaks about don't follow the ways of the heathen. You know, speaking about Christmas, Christmas trees and things like that. It clearly says that. You know, don't worry about the signs of heaven. You know, the, the blood moons and the and the chariots that you're going to see. Because the, the Lord, the Holy Spirit of truth, lets us know what these things are and what they mean. That there's for signs. They let us know that it's time to end. They let, you know, let us know about the feast days and the, and the new moons and, stuff, and all that stuff. You know, but uh, the heathens will take these things and, and flip them all around. So the Lord's telling us, don't. Follow the ways of the heathen. But this guy trying to say that the 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 hundred percent truth that the Israelites are the are the problem. Just like the, just like the big brother elder say, and just like the, the elder from Vegas sit down say, you know, they trying to say that the the us waking up being the Israelites are the are the problem. You know, you you y'all gonna get it. That's all I got to say, man. 
This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2. Salaki, man, I, I just, I don't know. Salaki, I'm just trying to, trying to bring it out, bro. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemash, I learn not the way of the heathen, right? Learn not the way of the heathen. Who are the, the natural heathens? These other nations, bro. Now, see, the scripture in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, we got to go get it now. The, trip, the Lord telling us to learn not to wear the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heaven, for the heathen are dismayed as them, right? Just like we were just speaking about. You know, they see the chariots. They talking about they're aliens from space and they're going to invade, you know, and all blah, blah, blah. But we understand that those are the chariots of our salvation, okay? Understanding, coming back to this 100% truth. For the customs, of, the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest and work. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, they deck it with silver and with gold, and they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Right, because you know these are customs of the heathen. These are, you know, um, idols that the heathen. You know, had in the days of old, you know, and they're, they're trying to incorporate them in, you know, to keep us away from Yahweh by Shemashah, bro. But the Lord's telling us not to learn those ways and not to learn those customs. And this, this, this knucklehead over here trying to use that scripture that's talking about uh, as if we are the heathens, you know, but we've come back, man, washed and clean and baptized with this word, coming back to Yahweh by Shemashah. So, no, we're no longer Gentiles. You know, we were Gentiles carried away with all these dumb idols, right? But now we've returned to the Lord. So, he's going off. Of course, he's a false prophet, you know, and let it, once again, if the blind lead the blind, they both come falling in a ditch. This is the book of Deuteronomy that we were just speaking about. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Right. And so we're cleaving unto you. How about Shemashah right now as he commanded us to seek his face, not seek another false doctrine, not not go back into the world, not have be straddling the fence, being lukewarm, but come all the way. And that's what this epistle going into. They plan their role really well. Let us play ours as well as well. You know, let us play ours is also, bro. Going to Yahweh Hashem Hashem, knowing He's the Father of Spirits, begging the Lord to constantly, you know, keep us, you know, keep us away from the evil, to keep us on this path of righteousness, you know, on this path that He set us on, you know. Um, to, 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 you know, don't let us go back into the world. Don't take away our Holy Spirit, bro. Please don't leave us. Don't forsake us, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, right? We cleaving unto you, how about Shemasha? Continue to be in washing clean with this, baptized with this word of truth, watching, watching the brothers, the elders, apostles, great millstone, and all the brothers on our umbrella. Continue to learn and grow into this faith. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. You know, we've been quickened and made alive, bro. Bringing this into modern, you know, in, right here in this present time, because it's the living word. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so. In the land whether you go to possess it. We're rehearsing the righteous acts right now, bro. Coming back to this law, statute, commandments. From cover to cover to the best of our abilities. Keep therefore and do them. You know? And so when the scripture tells us, you know, uh, not to have any guile on, on, in our mouth. You know, to have one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's one doctrine. All coming to one accord. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, and uh, you, those with spiritual eyes can see these things. That's why we... We, we bring out the scripture in the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 all the time. You know, he's given some apostles, some, some uh, prophets, and some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. And you can see all these brothers in the body of Great Millstone, you know, on scattered across the four corners of the earth, bringing out this 100% truth. Not, not a couple of guys in this camp over here, or a couple of guys in the city over here with this bullshit. Okay, behold, I've taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land, whether you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Right. The Lord said, yea, uh, get wisdom, get get knowledge, get wisdom with all thy getting, get understanding, bro. You know, that's praying to you. How about Shemashah? Shai? Asking the Lord to open your, your eyes so he can see it and follow the right doctrine, man. Follow the El's Apostle Great Millstone with that 100 percent truth, bro. I've given you passes according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. And these warnings has been going out. So when that day come upon you and you, you, got that different, you got that different wedding garment on, you know, it's going to be your ass, right? Because you've been warned. The blood is off our hands. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall which hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have Yahweh Hashem show nigh unto them? 
as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I have set before thee? Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest thou depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Okay? Right. You know, once again... Learn not the way of the heathen. Simple. A simple scripture that they've taken and, 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 and tried to corrupt it, man. And that's, that's, the, that's the dangers of watching and listening to false doctrines, bro. And these false prophets out here. Come on, let's go back and watch the Big Brother Elder's epistle. The Big Brother Elder's uh, intro of his epistle right now. Praise and, to uh, you. How about We're just going to get right into it. And I think, what, what, which one was this? Let me, hold on, let me go see something real quick. Uh, I want to listen to this one, man. I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to... Because this I is a minute long, too. Explain it to y'all. Quit getting indoctrinated. Get, uh, get yourself okay, indoctrinated. Yeah, this is the one he's talking about. Some, you know, uh, just the title of the class is going to offend. Don't hate it's the white man. going to offend a lot of Israelites because All they right, truly yeah, believe... Big Brother got it written out right here. They push he no longer streets, teach the white man it's the devil. Right. It's sad... That the true, the true rebirth is just beginning. Right. It's just beginning, and it's hard for our people. If we were still teaching the white man was the devil, we have a we have people waiting outside. If we were still teaching the white man was the devil, we have a we have people waiting outside. Oh. We were still teaching the white man was the devil. We have a. We have waiting outside. Because a lot of people gravitate to hatred. Okay. So, you know, and through the spirit as well, you know, at the live camp. At the live camp, uh, I brought out that scripture too, that big brother elder brought out. Did I bring that scripture out? Who will rise up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right. You know, uh, and as the scripture proclaimed, do not I hate them that hate thee, O Lord? Am I not greed? You know, uh, so like the big brother elder brought out in this beautiful epistle, you know, uh, we have, you know, the Lord's given us these emotions as well. Does need not have these emotions as well. You know, and these guys just going to going to hell off as usual. And they're going to be they're going to be they're going to get what they, you know, hey, with that words going to be justified with that words going to be condemned. Right. So once again, as the title of this epistle is speaking about, uh, they're playing their role quite well, bro. Let us play our role as well you know play our role of course we have to because the lord is the father of spirits and we're praying that you know we're part of that 144 hopefully elect and 130 of israel right that's justified you know just being justified through faith right let's get into the epistle um you know and all it's all about faith having faith believing in his word i want to get we're going to get this let's go get that jude real quick first we're going to get jude chapter 1 verse 3 just to clear it all up clear it all up been uh, believers of the word wholeheartedly beloved when i gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith man yeah we gotta we gotta be doing you know let us play our our, our parts let us play our roles as well you know putting on nasty elect being doers of the word not hears only you know fully engulfed and believing in his word of truth no matter what happens you know, in our lives, bro. Cleaving unto you, how about Shemasha? And exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Right? Here's the point we want to make. For certain, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before, this is the point, before of old ordained to this condemnation. Right? Just like the 144 hopeful elect, you know, one third of Israel were predestined to receive salvation. You know, then speak about the two thirds, you know, pre being predestined to receive salvation, but they're all ordained, you know, they all in their lot. That's why the scripture in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 11, speaks about he that is holy, let him be holy still. You know, there's a few scriptures that speaks about that. Uh, the one saying, the, you know, as the birds resort to their like, so does wisdom return to them that practice in her, you know, roughly paraphrasing. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, bro. Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace 
of our Lord, Yahushai, unto lasciviousness and denying the only Lord, Yahweh and our Lord, Yahushai. You know, they deny him. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of Egypt, the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believe not. Right. No, they're trusting in this week. They know they, 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 they just don't. Hey, they just don't have the spirit, man. And to strip proclaim right here, they're ordained for this condemnation. And that's what we're talking about when we're speaking about um, here, walking in the spirit, bro. Walking in the spirit. Believing in this word of truth, believing that what's written down, believing the word of Yahweh Shemasha, believing in his prophets that the Lord has sent, you know, not turning to the left, not turning to the right. You know, we, we've declared it over and over again. Stop listening to these damn false prophets. But, you know, we got to come up, you know, the Lord say occupy till, till, till he comes. Right. Look, I want to get this, man. I was going to read. I was going to get this last. But we're going to get it first. Well, you know, we're going to get into the epistle now. This is. Uh. Second Peter chapter one, verse 12. I wanted to get, let's get this eight real quick first. This was the point. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of the Lord. Um, no, that's, it's, it reads a different way in the NL. Let's get it in the KJV real quick. And we'll come back KJV. Second Peter chapter one verse eight. For if these things be in you and abound, you make they make you. They make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. Uh, oh, oh, there's the point down here in ten. But he that it lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the, this point we want to make right here. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Right? And the scriptures done told us what to be doing to not fall, you know, to not go outside. This is the book of uh, 2 Peter in the NLT. And right here it says, Verse 1, verse 12, but right above there it says, paying attention to scripture, right? Pay attention to the words of Yahweh Shemasha. Not the traditions of man, not the doctrines of devils, and not some damn false prophet. You know, that's twisting the words, clearly twisting the words, you know, as y'all heard. You know, he's trying to use that, talking about some heathen. Then he's trying to say, uh, don't hate the white man. But the scripture tells you, I got to go get it in the book of Malachi, bro. Before we go, where, where the thing at? Malachi chapter 1 verse 1 the burden of of the of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi to who to Israel not to all the other nations to the children of Israel the so-called Negro Hispanic and Native American Indians I have loved I have loved you I have loved you said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah yet you say wherein hast thou loved us was not Esau Jacob's brother said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. Wait a minute. Don't hate. Don't hate. See, you're going off. And laid his mountains and heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Because you got to understand the, the overall story, man, the picture. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Right. These are the people that the Lord gonna hate forever, okay? No matter how much you try to twist scriptures around, bro. Hey, the word of the Lord does not go out void. It's gonna accomplish what He please, you know. He's already declared the end from the beginning, bro. The kingdom of heaven is right around the corner. This this is the end of these devils' kingdom. You better enjoy that little funky ass money that you got that they gave you. This is the book of Second Peter chapter one verse twelve. Therefore, and do, wait a minute, did y'all hear that 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 damn bug out Jake right beside him? Teach! Looking all bug. He's looking all kind of bugged out. Did y'all see that, bro? Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. Right? What? Standing firm in the truth that you've been taught. Because, you know, we always bring out that scripture um, in the book of 1 Timothy, right? Chapter 4. Let me go get it on this other phone real quick. I don't want to jump over. 
You know, because and, and that shows you the scripture telling us, you know, don't go, don't turn, be turning to the left, don't turn to the right. Look, hold on, let's go get it real quick, man. So, lucky man, if I'm jumping around, I just, I don't know. So, lucky if I'm jumping around, I just trying to follow the spirit, bro. First Timothy. Chapter 4, verse 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Till the Lord returns. This is all we're supposed to be doing, bro. You know, walking in the spirit. Uh, turning away from this wicked world. Preparing our hearts and minds for this time of Jacob's trouble. Getting built up in the faith. You know, being holy and separate from all this wickedness that's out here. These are all the false doctrines. You know, the scripture tells you in the book of Revelations that, you know... Um, they they're virgins, all these other strange women. They they don't they don't mess around with these strange women. They all these strange strange philosophies and doctrines, bro. And that's what these guys are coming with these false doctrines, these false apostles, these false prophets. It says, "Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine." Simple, right? Simple, bro. These are the simple instructions that the Lord's given us to doctrine, the doctrine of life. Follow these laws, set the commandments. You're gonna be okay, bro. Follow what's written in the scriptures. You're gonna be okay. And one of them tells you to come under one accord, have the same mind. There's not a bunch of different doctrines out here. And it's, it's so clear. Plain to the holy, but there's some of the blocks to the wicked, right? Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them, that thy prophecy may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay? Take heed to thyself and to the doctrine. In doing this, you're going to save yourself and them that hear thee, bro. Uh, going back. We got to, we got to, oh, man. Let's go back. This book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 12. Therefore, will I always remind you about these things, even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth and you have been taught. And it is only, and it is only right that you should keep on reminding so lucky man and it is only right that i should keep on reminding you as long as i live i'm gonna take this thing down so i can get it closer put my glasses on okay for our lord yahweh shai has showed me that i must soon leave this earthly life so i will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after i am gone for we we were not for we were not making up clever stories. This is the point we want to make right here, bro. These things are true and faithful. These are um, accounts from our forefathers of these spiritual things, okay? Spiritual things right here, bro. For we were not making up clever stories when we told you about the powerful coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. We saw his majestic splendor with our own eyes. When he received honor and glory from Yahweh the Father. The voice from the majestic glory of Yahweh said to him, This is my dearly loved son who, who brings me great joy. We ourselves heard that voice from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Because of, of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. Okay? You must pay close attention to what they wrote. For their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and your house shy the morning star shines in your heart, bro. Above all, you must realize that no prophecy in scripture ever came from prophet's own understanding or from human in, in initiative in initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit and they spoke from Yahweh, bro. You see what I'm talking about, man? You see what, what the Lord has blessed us with this 100% truth. You know, not to believe in, in uh, man's wisdom or, or philosophies of, of, of these. Of these of the, this, is, this is a heavenly calling, bro. This is, this is, out, of this, this is out, of this, out of this world, man. These are spiritual things. This is the book. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and bring it out, man. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ, you know, and false prophets, and shall show great signs of wonders, in so much if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? Yeah, they're going to come up with all kind of bullshit, 
you know, trying to deceive the children of Israel, the elect. But, you know, the Lord said, no, you know, I'm going to put the spirit on them, the spirit of discernment, and know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, bro. We're going to the book of Ephesians. I want to get it again in the, in the, uh, in the NLT, okay? And we're going to read it quite quickly, and the, the point is going to be in verse 18. We're going to start at verse 2. May God our Father and the Lord, Yahweh, shall give you grace and peace, spiritual blessings. All praises to Yahweh, the Father of our Lord, Yahweh, Shai, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm because we are united with Yahweh, Shai, right? Being that mediator, having our sins covered by the blood of the Lamb because we believe, having in faith. All praises to Yahweh, Shai, Shai. You know, we, we, we repent it with our whole heart. We believe this word of truth. You know, Yahweh Shem said, repent and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Even before he made the world, he, Yahweh Shem loved us and chose us in Yahweh to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Right. Just like we were just speaking about. Yahweh Shem decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Yahweh This is what he wanted to do and gave him great pleasure. You know, uh, going right back to the title, you know, they playing their role. So let us play our role. The Lord has blessed us with this truth. Let us walk therein. Let us walk, you know, with with uh, full confidence in the written word, you know, not giving uh, not giving ear to old wise fables. You know, if they come and bring not this doctrine, it's because there's no light in them. Let's walk in this truth, man, the way the Lord proclaimed us to do, bro. You know, and that's it. Just, hey, all this all this other bullshit right off the shoulder, right over the head. You know, is it, dodging off or is bouncing off our chest, bro. Uh, Esau, Edom, with all their with their other rhetoric and lies. Don't worry about it. We know their latter end, bro. You know, like the like the uh, live live camp the other night. You know, we're living these scriptures, my man. We hey, we walking in the spirit, bro. All praise to you, Habba Shemashah, knowing what's about to happen, knowing the future, and it's okay. We 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 we're right on board with Habba Shemashah, having the mind of Habba Shemashah. Verse six. So we praise Habba Shemashah for the glory. Glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. Okay. As Yahweh Shemasha have now revealed to us his mysterious, mysterious plan. Regarding Yahweh a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. Right. Let's read that one more time because that's what it, this is what it's all about. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yahweh Shem has now revealed to us his mysterious plan regarding Yahweh a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. Yeah, Yahweh is going to come back and he's going to be kicking, you know what, and taking what? Okay. He's going to put all rulership under his foot. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Yahweh, everything in heaven and on earth. Furthermore, because we are united in Yahweh, right? And that's the truth. See, see, you got these other groups out here, these other camps talking about some one body in Yahweh, uh, united in, 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 you know what I'm talking about. I don't even want to say it, man. But this is the truth because it's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay, these other camps are going off. They've been rebuked, but what, what, what are they doing? Do they really believe? Do they really fear the Lord? Do they really honor his word? Are they really doers of the word? No, they're not, bro. They're not, bro. So they're playing their role very well as being these false prophets and unbelievers. Let us play ours as believers, true worshipers, as the scripture proclaims. The hour coming now is when the true worshipers shall worship Yahweh Shabbat Shai in spirit and truth. Furthermore, because we are united in Yahweh Shai, we have received an inheritance from Yahweh. For he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. Yahweh Shemashah's purpose was that was that we Jews, who were the first to to trust in Yahweh Shah, would bring praise and glory to Yahweh Shemashah. Right, we trust in the Lord all the way, not with no damn five hundred one c threes holding hands with the heathen, you know, thinking that their their uh, their 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 land's gonna go on forever. No. We're not of the father of the devil, but we're of Yahweh Shemashah. We's not, we have not received the spirit of the world, but we have received the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, bro. 
the one true living God. Not no damn false God and no false idol, so called name JC. Not no Buddha, not no Allah, none of that. This is the 100% truth. All praises to you, Habashi Mashah. We can't say it enough. And now, ye, now you Gentiles have also heard the truth. Right. Right. See, we were once Gentiles as well. We were out there. We thought we was Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. But now we've, we've returned. The 12 lost, the 12 lost trails of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians through the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You've heard the truth, the good news, that Yahweh Shai saves, saves you. And when you believe in Yahweh Shai, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit. Right, because you believed. You didn't, you didn't, you weren't doing it for a filthy lucre. You weren't doing it to join a group or because you thought the garments were nice. No, because you believed in the word of this common salvation, bro. You were like, are you, you're telling me? That the Lord's really going to come back and deliver us, you know, from the hand of our enemies. That we don't, that these damn crackers are the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That, it makes perfect sense now. You know, that we're going to be beneath all these other nations. It makes perfect sense now, bro. We were discontinued from our heritage. It makes perfect sense now. That's the good news. You know, we believe that, man. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth that the truth, the good news that Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai saves you. And when you believed in Yahweh Shai, you, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. You know, that's why we tell the truth. That's why we tell them when we're out there preaching the word of 100% truth, tell them to believe the word. You know, telling them to learn the names of the Lord and pray to those names. Repent. To those names, bro. That's that's a part of the belief. You know? Take that leap of faith. And in something that you've never heard before. You know? Ask the Lord to open your eyes. Ask him for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And continue on listening to the brothers. The elders, apostles, great millstone. And all the brothers on the arm brothers. To be washed and clean and baptized with the word of truth. Taking out all the old shit that you thought you knew. Putting off that old man. And putting on the new man. Filling up with the new, new knowledge and understanding and wisdom. Of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, seeking his face, getting to know him, bro. This this verse 14. The spirit is Yahweh Shemashah's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised, and that he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify him. Okay. Paul's spiritual Paul's prayer for spiritual wisdom. Verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15. Ever since I felt, so this is in the NLT version, okay? Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and your love of Yahweh's people everywhere, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the ones that actually believe, the true worshipers, you know? But also the Lord said, love your enemies, but hey, keep them at a bay. You know, you can love someone from afar. You know, yeah, I love you, but you stay your damn ass over there until you come back in the kingdom of heaven with your right mind. You damn wicked ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I have not stopped thanking you. How about Shema Shah for you, the, the believers, the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel. You know, that's why the scriptures say, pray for them. Uh, pray not for this. So, therefore, pray not for these people. You know, talking about the two thirds. But we pray, we should pray for the, the who is my brother, my sister, my, my sister, my mother, those that do the will of the How about Shema Shah. Pray for them. I have not stopped thanking Yahweh Shemashah for you. I pray for you constantly. Asking Yahweh Shemashah, the glorious Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of Yahweh Shemashah. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can continue the confident hope He has given to those who. He called his holy people who are rich and glorious inheritance, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. OK, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of Yahweh Shemashah's power for us who believe in him, the power for us who believe in him. This is the same mighty power that raised Yahweh Shah from the dead and seated him in the peace place of honor at Yahweh Shemashah's right hand in the heavenly place, in the heavenly realms. Right. Now, I want to I want to make sure that we meditate on this just a little bit in verse 19. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of Yahweh's 
power for us who believe in him. This is the same mighty power that raised Yahweh from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at his, at his at Yahweh's right hand in the heavenly realms. Right. So this is the power, the almighty. Okay. That knows. He said, I know there's a there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent, bro. That's the power of Yahweh Shem Uh Daniel chapter 4, verse 10, 4, 4, verse 17, you know. Uh, this this decree is about a matter of the watchers that the, to the intent that the living may know that the Yahweh Hashem is the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay, he's the one that set it up kings and put it down kings. He's the one that make it poor, make it rich. He's the one that kill and make alive. Okay, that's the mighty power of Yahweh Hashem He's the one that ordained these damn false the, the false prophets for their condemnation to be going off. Because why? He's the father of spirits. You gotta have, you gotta use all the players on the board, bro. It's, it's got to be a wonderful, great story, okay? And you got to think of it like that. Think of it that, that, through that spiritual lens. Now, he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else. That's why the strippers say, uh, Yahweh Shah, I'll have you know that the, heavy, the head of every man is Yahweh Shah, and the, heavy, and the head of Yahweh Shah is Yahweh. And the head of every man uh, and the head of the woman is the man, you know, roughly paraphrasing. There's an order to these things. Okay, now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Yahweh Shemashah has put all things under the authority of Yahweh Shah and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. If it... It is made full and complete by Yahweh Shai, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Right. That Holy Spirit, man, you know, filling us up with the spirit, you know, controlling everything with his mighty spirit. You know, these false prophets, everybody's under the authority of Yahweh Shemashai. So all we have to do is believe in the word. Believe it in the word. OK, believe in the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, bro. Look at it spiritually. Look at it spiritually, brothers and sisters. Spiritual. Everything spiritual. Everything spiritual. Okay? Um, let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians once again. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh Hashem Hashem knoweth not man, not knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yahweh. Okay? Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, that we might know the things that are freely given to us. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual Right, that's what we're talking about, spiritual things with spiritual. So we're looking at everything through spiritual lenses, bro. When we see these false doctrines and false prophets, yeah, the scripture tells us if it were possible, they deceive the very elect, but it's not possible because we filter everything through the spirit through the scripture. So when they when we clearly see them going off, hey your ass going off. When we when we hear Esau Edom talking about their grandiose plans about uh putting the MARK and everybody and shit and fulfilling their new their agenda. Hey, you're going off because the Lord is going to come back. And uh, what does the scripture say? Um, uh, he, 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 he disrupts the plan of the Salaki man, of the, uh, of the wicked, so they cannot perform their enterprise. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, so they, they cannot perform their enterprise. So the Lord's going to disrupt all. You know, you're not going to go through with it. You know, all your riches are going to cough them up. You're actually going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven quite quite soon, bro. So we're having faith in the written word, you know. And one of them being us waking up into this 100% truth. Waking up um, after discontinuing from our heritage. After stripper proclaims that we're going to do. Waking up having all these damn false doctrines all around us. These false prophets all around us just as the stripper proclaims. And who who's at the helm? Who's, who's ruling, ruling this wicked, wicked ass world? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, whom the Lord hates, the adversary of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, the adversary, you're the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And that's why you see these guys, uh, 
Let's continue reading. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. For who have known the mind of Yahweh Shemashah that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai, right? You know, we have the mind. So we're going all the way in, you know, that what we've heard of the Lord. We've heard, we, we believe these words. We believe the report. This is the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattered abroad. Right, so these guys have constantly been scattering the flock. But what? The scripture tells us that they're not his they're not they're not they're not the Lord's sheep in the first place. Because the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So, hey, they're they're playing their role quite well. The deceiver, the deceived and the deceiver are his. They're playing their role quite well. To cut off them two thirds of the children of Israel. Let us play our roles, bro. We're here to shine that light to the children of Israel. To be that sit that, that house up on the hill, bro. Okay? So he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattered abroad. You're not with you. How about Shema Shah, bro? You know, the scripture speaks about you're going to be ashamed in the kingdom of heaven. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right. You, you're talking about, you know, not hating the white man. All of a sudden. So you're not with the Lord. You're against you're against your Habashim Shema Shah. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right. The Lord said, Hey, if this is my world, my servants will fight. You know, but we're waiting on you, Lord. We're waiting on you, Habashim Shema Shah. This is the book of Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? For the weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but mighty through your Habashim Shema Shah to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shah, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. Right? I want to get this man. This is something that the Big Brother Elder brings out quite often, and I notice, you know, I love it because I notice that he brings it out um, when someone comes up come up against the word of word of truth that kept, you know, almost, you know, most of the time, you know, uh, he brings it out in different situations, but. It's very, it's spiritual. And we're going to look at that picture one more time. It's spiritual, bro. This is a spiritual warfare, okay? This is the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right, so that's why, you know, this epistle's entitled, you know, they plan their role really well because they're carnal. But we're spiritual, you know, um... Looking at everything through spiritual lenses, believing in his word of truth, something that, you know, is not seen. Looking beyond this world right here, understanding the words of, of truth, that this word, is, this, word, this world passes away. But he that doeth the will of the Lord abide forever. So we're making ourselves a living sacrifice. We're being obedient to the word to the best of our abilities, okay? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? The scripture tells you to go on it and, you know, put on the whole armor of God. You know, all the truth, all the belief, you know, the, the faith. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Shema Shah, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all the stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Okay? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Okay? And your feet shroud with the preparations of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all, that faith, man. That wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. That faith. You know, everything going to be looking terrible. You know, in this time of Jacob's trouble. You know, uh, the concentration camps. The beheadings. The, the famine of food. The teeth of wild beasts. You know, the uh, martial law. The sedition among men. It's going to be dire straits. But that shield of faith. You're going to continue to hold on to the word. Nope. Yeah, but Shema Shah say all these things gonna happen. It's it's just fine, and we're actually thankful that these things are happening because we're about to get we're about to get the hell up out of here, bro. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay, all these damn false doctrines out here, speak, speaking all the spewing all this madness, like the elder called it, spewing all their vomit. And take the helmet of salvation and the word and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Shema Shah. 
the word of the Lord, right? You know, that's and then what that's what you come back with. You got to shield it, then you come back with the word. No, you how about Shema Shah say, My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, right? You how about Shema Shah say, Alas, for that day is great. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, so you got to cleave unto the word of truth. Verse 18, so praying always with all prayer and supplication in, in spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Okay? Yeah, man. And just believing, holding on to this word of truth. Going to the book of, uh, grab a couple of points here. Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and contempt. Okay? Right, so don't forget now, you got to have a lot of Israelites waking up just because they know the Israelites don't mean nothing. You know, it's the ones that are doers of the word, not hears only. It's the ones that are obedient to the word of Yahweh by Shema Shah. It's the one that the Lord has blessed with that Holy Spirit. They have come under one accord. Who's my brother, my mother, my sister? Those that do the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Those who are their spirit, man. There's a lot of Israelites out here that without the spirit, and there's just an Israelite in the world that know they're Israelites. They're still going on. They're still black, you know. They still got the false doctrines. They still have no fear of Yahweh Shema Shah. They have not repented. They have not been reborn, bro. This is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand, bro. Okay? And, of course, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. We're about to close it up, as you guys might. I think uh, we're going to close it up with this. Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 1, my son, forget not my law from cover to cover, but let thine heart keep my commandments. You know, these are the ways of life. For length of days, see, these are the, if you do these things, you're going to be okay, bro. To the letter, you know, to the best of your abilities. Rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, we're not just talking about the Ten Commandments, but we're talking about the ways of life. You know, uh, being obedient to the word, understanding these words, seeking the Lord's face, keeping away from false doctrines and false prophets. So when the elders, apostles, great millstone and all the brothers on their umbrella continue to tell you there's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, you know, or, or uh, you know, great millstone has 100 percent truth, should I say? Why? Why in the hell would you go somewhere else? They're telling you, don't be watching this for entertainment. Why in the hell would you go somewhere else, bro? They're telling you how serious the matter is. Why in the hell would you go somewhere else? Because you're not the sheep of the Lord. See, because we come to understand that the ones that actually truly believe and fear the Lord, they're going to be doers of the word and not hearers only. You know, because it's already preordained, bro. You know, that's why sometimes you, you, you might hear a brother get, you know, you might hear somebody get did, uh, kick, uh, kicked off the comment board for, for, for their BS, you know. Or they, you know... Be quiet. Tell them to be quiet for 30, 300 seconds See if they can get their self together Be more willing to hear Than to give the testimony of fools You know Because it's a very serious thing It's not something It's not a chat room It's not a, for joke This is serious business man And when, when the shit hits the fan We're all going to see and understand How serious it really was When we had this grace period To come in and seek the Lord's face and, and, and get built up in the faith while we could So therefore walk in the spirit my man Let's let's uh, let us play our our parts, you know, our role as well as they're doing theirs, because they're really coming hard, being the anti-Messiah spirit. Okay, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, and write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find, and this mercy and the truth is the scriptures, man. This hundred percent truth, the hundred, the uh, Holy Spirit. You know, this grace period to come back to repent to the Lord with your whole heart to make yourself a living sacrifice to turn away from this wicked world. This is that time to believe the truth, man. You got teachers out here starting with the Elder Apostle Great Millstone to to clear things up for you. You can you can leave them questions, you know, on the on the on the videos, you know, if you really don't understand after you've done the search yourself to try to figure it out. After you pray to the Lord to try to figure it out, then you know you go to them and say, I tried, I did this, I did that, and I still really don't understand it. Can you, you know, help me in this area? And you know, it's beautiful, man. That's brotherly love, bro. Charity. And that's you know, we're servants of Yahweh Shemashah. Here to serve brothers and sisters. To minister unto the and minister unto the saints. Let thy mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah and man. 
Point, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, bro. You know? And that starts with just learning the names of the Lord. The Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. Praying to those names wholeheartedly with your whole heart. Believing in his word of truth. Asking him to forgive you for your sins. Repenting. You know? Asking him to bless you with the Holy Spirit so you can understand. And just simply... Begin to watch the videos of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. Write down the write down the scriptures that you're bringing out. Go back and read them for yourself, so you can continue to get that understanding. Keep doing it over and over again until you get built up in the faith, brothers and sisters. And then we just sit your ass down and wait to see the downfall of this man's kingdom all around us that's happening right now, and ultimately the implementation of the MARK and believing in the word of truth that the Lord's going to deliver you out of all these things, and then the, the World War Three. You know, the famine of food, all these things, the, the beginning of sorrows right now that we're in now. The damn uh, the nuclear war has been shot over here to destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, with all these abominations, the mother of harlots. And we're going to be beamed up out of here and changed into those new bodies, bro. Lord willing, it's, we're part of that number. Beamed up out of here and changed into those new bodies, having the laws put in our inward parts and the kingdom of heaven being established. Coming down from heaven, New Jerusalem, kicking ass and taking names, brothers and sisters. So with that, hopefully this is edifying. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikah Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we're going. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, brothers and sisters.